Hey, Shalom, I'm Israel. First off, I would like to say, Ka Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shabba Ashim, Rakakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing his word in all sincerity and faith. For the few sisters that watch, believe, and rock with us, Shalom to you as well. Uh, just back through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shabba with another lesson. Pretty much. Uh, just during this whole uh, crisis situation, COVID-19, everyone is being forced to just sit their ass down. And I'm just going to say it straight how it is, because really at this appointed time, 2020, we haven't even uh, reached uh, four months into the 2020. And people are just doing way too much, man. Social media has given everybody a platform to give an opinion in all manner of wickedness and just all manner of uh, ignorance. But all the things that the men of the Lord, through the spirit and inspiration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, through these prophecies and the scriptures has been saying is coming to pass. So with the with the most high has uh, Esau, the spirit on him at this appointed time is passed some measures to have everyone sit their ass down. And it's a beautiful time. I know the elder of our camp, Yasha Wamba. you know, I know he's in a rejoiceful spirit, you know, as well as other brothers. We just see the hope. And brother's faith is being built up, seeing the most high work. We really needed this time that we in, man, because everybody's just scrambling around, just doing way too much. So it's beautiful that the most high has just completely shut things down to where, to where everyone is just being forced to sit their ass down. Because I was even watching on YouTube this boxer, because I'm in the boxing. Uh, this guy, Errol Spence, he's a Dallas area boxer. And he was just basically... I don't know what platform he was on, but he was going live just saying how he just stuck in the house and he bored. But that's beautiful, man. Call all y'all by Shimia Basha. But I'm gonna get some scriptures to back up uh some things that's going on because even though these people are getting uncomfortable with just this little taste of, of plagues that the most high is putting on this place, they ultimately think in the back of their mind that it's just gonna pass on away and they're gonna be back to doing what, what they was doing, status quo. But that's not going to be the case this time, Lord willing, you know. Uh, I'm going to start off here in 2 Ezra 16 and 5. It says, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? And when you go up at the top of that uh, verse, it's talking about uh, plagues being sent uh, woe unto Babylon and Asia. And we know that great Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, is talking about America. And all the people that's in America, they're being brought down because of that pride, you know. And then just all of the wickedness that has ex exceedingly polluted the whole earth that mainly takes place in Great Babylon. The Lord is sending curses and plagues upon this place. And that whole uh, uh, COVID-19 is just another plague. And it says, and, and what is he that may drive them away? So ultimately, we know that the Most High is in control. He is working with a nation of people on the left hand side. The red Hebrew Edomites, Esau Edom, the so-called white people. But. These plagues are ultimately of the most high. And who is he that may drive them away? Because people have it in their back of their mind, even though it's, 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 it's kind of uncomfortable and, and things are changing. People still have in the back of their mind that maybe a month or two at the most, things are just going to be back to status quo. Everybody going to get back to the wickedness that they was doing before this happened. But it's beautiful at the time being, man. Most high is pretty much shutting these people up and just putting the brakes on, on things. I used to watch this uh, show Saved by the Bell when I was coming up, and I know this guy Zach Morris. He used to he, he could he used to say time out, and it pretty much paused the whole show. And he was the only one that could talk. So pretty much the most hot through the spirit is just pausing the whole just show of folly in this place to where uh, the the prevailing message is what the men of the Lord is is saying all through the scriptures, all through the prophecies, man. It says, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it had begun to burn. And the answer is no. That's a rhetorical question. It says these are all rhetorical questions being asked through the spirit. It ain't going to be no turning away these plagues, man. I feel through the spirit that the most high is really about to switch gears on this place. It says in this whole COVID-19 is just uh, one pivotal domino piece that's just going to set off a whole chain of events it says um, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer so you can't turn back an arrow once it's shot out of a bow and we know ultimately through the spirit of prophecy that the ultimate arrow 
that's going to be shot over here, or I, I might as well say plural, arrows that are going to be shot are those thermonuclear missiles, man, from different nations, namely Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, so on and so forth, and even some of, of uh, American allies that are within uh, the EU and NATO. It says, the mighty Lord sent at the plagues. <laughs> Verse 8. I got to read this again because people always want to ask like questions and question the, the, the will and authority of the most high. But the most high is pretty much uh, removing those options off the board, man. That's why the scripture says in Amos, the third chapter, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord, the most high, have not done it. This is second Ezra 16 and eight. The mighty Lord send the plagues and who is he that can drive them away? So that's clear to the point. The mighty Lord, Yahweh. Through his son, Yahweh Shah, sendeth the plagues, the curses throughout the earth. It says, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may clinch it? And ultimately, that's talking about the thermonuclear destruction. It ain't going to be turning away of the thermonuclear destruction, but we have the beginning of sorrows that we coming into right now. So it ain't going to be turning away all of these different plagues that are going to set up the thermonuclear destruction either. It says, he shall cast lightnings and who shall not fear? He shall thunder and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? And Babylon the Great is getting utterly beaten to powder at the presence of the Most High. Through the presence that the Most High is allowing these plagues to just uh, shut this place down, man. And these people, they're going to be utterly beaten to powder as well, you know. So the point being made, it's just a beautiful time. For the men that the Most High gave this word to the elect. Because everyone's being forced to sit their ass down, man. I think I'm going to just put the title of the video, something to that effect. And actually, it was some more on that that I forgot to read. I want to skip to the 21st verse in this. And this is the reason why people are going to think that what's going on now is maybe going to only last a month, maybe two months. They have faith that this guy, the, the beloved Donald J. Trump. Is going to have a resolution, man. Well, they do have a resolution, man. I, I've been going in it lately, as well as other brothers in videos, the whole Hegelian dialect, or they have KO, problem, reaction, solution. Of course, they have a solution, but it's not the solution that you're banking on, man. Ultimately, all solutions lead up to the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. So this is not just going to be some little phase that passes on and we're going to be back to everybody just doing what they were doing before. But, hey, that Satan's going to put that false uh, illusion in these people's minds. And I want to read this. This is 2 Ezra 16 and 21. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. So right now, for instance, with the... Uh, diminishing uh oil prices gas prices are pretty low right now so even though it's not a really a good idea to be just out there and about w w what's going on that's just an example of things being so cheap in the earth right now at this appointed time people for the most part they still are able to go here and there the stores are still open for the time being trucks are starting to, to still roll in are still rolling in it's just when you go in stores, maybe certain items might not be there. You got longer lines, but people still have the ability to fill their belly. So in the back of their mind, they're thinking, yeah, this is just a little phase. This shall pass. It says that they should think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. So the times that we in right now, the evils are going to grow and it's going to lead into more sword. You know, over the lack of bread and great famine, people are going to be killing each other with the sword. Of course, famine and great confusion, which henceforth the word Great Babylon. You know, it's a nomen omen because Babel or Babylon means land of confusion. And these people are confused as hell. No one knows what's really going on at the end of the day, but the men of the Lord. You know, people really believe in the back of their mind that, hey, you know, it, it's just conspiracy, you know, theories and. It's not as bad as it seems. The government, they got all the solutions. They're going to make America great again. <laughs> but that's not going to be the case, man. And you got Israelites even are in that spirit as well, man. 
I'm gonna go to another scripture. I think I want to get like Zephaniah. I think it's the first chapter. This is Zephaniah uh, 1 and 2. Or it's like it's Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem, which we know Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. It's talking about the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native America that are here in America and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. It says that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So you got a lot of our people, them of the circumcision, though those that know this truth that are settled up upon their leaves and their deeds are being searched out through the true prophets preaching his word the right way. It says and punish the men that are settled on their leaves and that goes into settled in on their in their watch. They're not the watchmen. They're not shepherds over the flock, giving warning to the people, man, to take heed. You got Israelites out there that still don't have the. Uh, Testicular fortitude to tell our people about the RFID microchip being the mark of the beast, man. That's actually an uh, implantable device that this devil plans on chipping the, the majority, the whole planet Earth with, man. All of the citizens of this Earth with. It says that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So a lot of you Jake out there, you Israelites, you don't think the Lord is going to make a move on this place, man. But you couldn't be, uh, uh, sadly, you couldn't be further from the truth. That's just not how this thing is going to play out. A lot more so of these other nations, chiefly even the so-called white people, Esau, Edom. They know what's going down in this whole ordeal more so than Jake, man. Our people are completely bugged the hell out. They want to restore this wicked kingdom more so than the devil himself. But that's not going to be the case this time, man. And that's why it's beautiful that people are really just being forced to just sit things out and really evaluate and assess things at this moment, man. And it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better, man. Pretty much I've been hearing things about the government is authorizing uh, just a full uh, quarantine effort, which, you know, that's going to bring uh, curfews and just people not having the ability to go here and there. Pretty much martial law. Which is prophesied in Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, man. These prophecies are coming to pass, man, and the evil shall grow, like I just read about earlier. I'll get this last scripture. And I'll just end out. I just want to speak, man, just because I was meditating. Like a lot of these uh, uh, athletes, they're bored as hell right now, man. Just even just regular people that have been doing whatever the hell they wanted to do and not had any consideration of the heavenly Father, not had to consider. Uh, the realities that's going on in the earth, they're forced to have to sit their ass down and assess their situations, man, because we're in that time. That's why the scripture, I love Habakkuk, the second chapter, the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. We at the end, things is speaking. Prophecy is speaking right now. And it ain't going to be no um, help in this situation now. Now the government's talking about giving people a thousand dollars a piece and you got to know that's going to come with hardcore ramifications to take more of your rights away. But these people are really ready to give their lives over to these elite, man. Just full control. Where is that scripture? I think it's Jeremiah 51. I'll read this and end out. Salaki Akim. I'll start at 7. Yeah, Babylon or Salaki. Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And Babylon is talking about the daughter, the virgin daughter of Babylon, which through the prophecies is America. It says Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations have mad. And we go into uh, the the wine. It represents all of the philosophies and just the whole culture and the way of doing things and the mindset and the spirit of America. Ultimately, the, the spirit of Satan. Because who's at the head of rulership in America, Great Babylon? Esau, Edom, the so-called uh, nation, the so-called white man. And the nations are mad that they've took on the ways and the philosophies of the, of the damn devil. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. And ultimately, that's the most high's will for Great Babylon, a.k.a. America, is to be suddenly fallen and destroyed. 
And the situation that we're going through now is just a build up process until the final destruction. It says how for her take balm for her pain and balm. When you look into that uh, word, it's a healing agent like you put balm. If you got like a blister or something on your lip, you put balm on it to heal it. It says <laughs> take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. So. The ultimate uh, mindset of a lot of these people and even more so, Jake, you Israelites, man. You think Babylon is going to be healed. You think that the situation that we're going through now is just a phase that shall pass and we'll be right back to doing what the hell we was doing at first. Everybody in the club, Jake out here wilding out, just being demons all over the place. But it's beautiful. The Lord is forcing everybody to just sit their ass down, man. For the elect that know what's going on, man. We should, you know, drink to this moment, rejoice, continue to just pray, read, study, put out videos, prophesy, be in the spirit of charity, just meditating on the will of the Lord coming to pass sooner than later, man. It says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. So Babylon is not going to be healed, man. You ain't going to throw off the will of the heavenly father. That's why I read earlier in second Ezra, the 16th chapter, who shall turn back the plagues of the most high? Nobody. It says, forsake her and let us go every one into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. So that's going into the nations, the different nations, getting the hell out of Dodge, going back into their own country. And that it pretty much backs up second Ezra 15 and seven when it says her um, judgment reacheth unto the heavens. It says in second Ezra 15 and seven. Uh, wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the earth. And that's why the Most High is going to be justified in uh, bringing all of these plagues that's going to lead up to the greatest and most devastating destruction in uh, in the history of the earth to Great Babylon, America. So with all being said, it's just a beautiful time for the men of faith that we in. You know, things are going to get tighter. Things are going to get more confusing. But we have the power source. We have the playbook. You know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times if we're those men. If we just continue in the course of the Lord, we're going to be in good case. So with all being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rekha Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.